So this is a drill, rubber wheel. We're taking off the rubber stripping on this thing, but obviously the paint is coming with it as well. Um, but we're gonna paint this truck anyway. So this truck here is my kids' um, 93 D150 Dodge Ram. Uh, it's the last year of this, the first gens, I believe. This has a 360 in it. Um, long story short, his S10 Extreme, um, he wrecked it, avoiding a deer, and rolled it like three times. And he's alive and all back to normal. He's got some extra hardware in his knee, but that that stuff will come out, I think, sometime November, right? Oh, yeah. by the way, my son's filming right now, so he's the camera guy. Um, so this is his 93 Dodge Ram. Um, it needs a lot, but this one he's going to have some sweat equity in. We've already started to put the racing seats in it that we got from our uh, good buddy, the Pan Man. And uh, so this thing, um, the next on the agenda for the interior wise, besides burn anything that smells like trailer park, is uh, we're going to put a cage in it. So I'm going to do the rear hoop along the back behind the seats, do the middle bar for the harnesses, because as per his mother, this truck's getting a cage. I don't know why something about him rolling his last one three <laughs> times, and he better have learned his lesson, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good, good. So this one, we're going to do the rear hoop, bar hoop, and uh, door bars, and then I noticed I was just going to do the door bars and tie them into the cowl, and then I realized I had a roof hoop. And it's perfect for this thing. So it's going to get a, the roof hoop, and then I'm going to bend and do a pillar bars down. So he'll have a full cage, basically, that should keep him alive. And he better not roll this one. Because this one he's got to work for. This, the S10 we bought for him, we only paid like 3500 bucks for it. But it was a nice truck, and he really didn't need anything. But this one, this is all sweat equity. So I'm going to keep posting videos on this build. And we'll kind of go from there. We are going to pull the 360 out of this thing. Um, here, I'll open the hood and show you all that mess. It currently does run and drive. It just doesn't do it very well. And the thing's got a lot of miles on it. And we think it's got a blown head gasket in, in one of the, the one of them. Um, but we're going to clean all this out. He's going to have to clean all this. And we'll film all that too. And um, But we're going to put the motor from my Big Red in it, which is a built, um, a built 360. And uh, we'll keep the stock, tr the transmission that he's got in here. Um, we're also going to lower this truck. Um, I already bought some of the stuff to lower it. We're going to do it on the uh, the low buck end because he's a high school kid. And yeah, but uh, I bought a Dodge B van lower control arms, which the cups in those are different from the truck arms. So it sends the coil springs three inches down into the control arm, so it automatically lowers the truck three inches. After that. We have to do some sport coils and we also have to remove a half a coil from the passenger side because these trucks are notorious for when you lower them. The driver's side always lowers more than the passenger side. It's just a thing, so it just kind of happens. But he's also planning on um, doing this thing in, we're going to do it in plum crazy purple with the black hood and then we're going to do the 360 uh, cubic inch thing, kind of like the Dodge Dusters, um, across, just across the hood. And uh, we're gonna ditch the mirrors. Um, when we do lower it, I'm gonna put 17 inch uh, Mickey Thompson tires on it that I have that are on my big red truck that is kind of going away because I'm gonna donate the motor from it into this. And um, so when we lower it, we're gonna do low profile tires on it. And I'm also going to radius all the wheel well, all the wheel wells and then flare everything out because it's gonna get dramatically lowered. And, and apparently he wants to be part of this. Do you need assistance? You good? Okay. So today's kind of thing we're gonna start up, I was taking off the rest of the stripping just so that way it's taking half the paint off it. Like this truck, you can see the paint is literally coming off. This It was painted at some point, not very well. So this stuff is all just coming off. Um, but it has to come off for paint. Like little holes like this we're gonna fill, obviously do all the body work. It needs door pins so bad. Like, if you watch, do that, which is typical on Dodges. But this one's just been, it's just been hammered. But it was a cheap enough truck and it it's its solid. So we're gonna build it and uh, go from there. It's got power windows and all that works good. Um, the steering column, check this out. We're gonna fix that, cause that, um, that's no good. So we gotta get another column for it and I'm gonna give him my race wheel and my hub and all that. And um, he's got a 15 inch sub. 
box or whatever that we're gonna put in the bed and then do the blow through into the cab so his 15 inch speaker will be into the cab. Which I don't know how he's gonna hear that anyways over the exhaust, but moving on. Um, but he did ask, he's like, well, how do I protect the box? Cause the box is just a covered speaker box. And I go, well, we can just build a, a box for it. You know, a steel box with a lid or something that sealed it. And then he goes and asks me, well, can we put a bubble around it? And I'm like, you know how long I've been waiting for this kid to ask me that? Seriously, it's crazy. In any event, so after I get all this stuff off, we're gonna start this. I had him uh, remove the filler neck, well, the door and everything, and push the filler neck down out of the way. And we are going to remove this door and in place, put that in there. But as you see, it's all beveled and, and kind of a different shape. So I'm gonna end up out of 18 gauge making the panel plate that'll fit around this and kind of make sense and it'll recess it in there, remove all this. Literally, I don't save any of this. I'm gonna cut this straight out and just remove it and do a big wider piece out of 18 gauge. It'll be radius to the bedside, radius to this contour. So that goes there. And then the exhaust, um, this has got a 2.5 or two and a half inch exhaust on it all the way around. Uh, my big red truck's got three inch stainless. So I'm gonna pull all that off and put it on here. And then uh, stay right, well, come with me. And then for the exhaust tip, for the exit point, I make these little neat aluminum, um, we'll call them speed bubbles, I guess, right? So we're gonna, uh, now this will obviously be on the other side. I just don't feel like walking around over there. So this is gonna get cut into the bedside, probably like here and, you know, riveted to the side and then the exhaust tip will come through at an angle. And uh, I may put a little igniter box on it or something that he can, when he revs it, lets off, get, do the little pseudo flamethrower thing out of it. You know, just because high school kids need that, right? Are yeah. you in agreement there, yeah. camera guy? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's all good then. All right, so that's enough for now. I mean, as you can see, it, it needs gate work. I got to pull all this off. The latch didn't really work, so we're going to mess with all that. Um, it just kind of needs a lot, but it's a lot of stuff that we have laying around and I have other friends that have a lot of Dodge stuff. So we're going to build them a neat little monster race truck. Um, also the rear end, I got something really cool for back here. Um, I'm not going to do the roll pan. Um, I'm going to snip the frame rails, um, at a, like a 45 and then I'm going to do the Ferrari, um, black aluminum paneled down and then it'll have the, the ferrule vents or whatever you want to call them. The, the dividers or splitters going in at an angle and those will be polished aluminum. And so the whole thing will look like kind of like the back end of a Ferrari um, with the, the big vents or lines or whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm sure everybody's like, oh, it's this. I don't know what it is. I'll call it an airfoil or whatever. But that'll be about it. The front, we got to find another bumper for it. And uh, I have a, a Dodge van like I think it's a five inch or six inch chin spoiler that goes underneath the bumper. Um, they're for vans, they're fiberglass. Uh, so that'll go in the front and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But we're gonna make a really cool, we're gonna try to make the coolest long bed for, with like no money. Cause he's a high school kid that works at a taco place, you know. So he's, he's not so rolling it's in It's truck money. stop royalty. Oh, truck stop taco place. So he's, you know, rolling in the dough, I guess. I think they pay, do they pay hazard pay? No, they don't pay hazard pay? No. You've seen some things too, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? A little eye opening? Yeah. Saw some real life, huh? Yeah. What, do you, what is your opinion of people? Uh, crackheads are weird. Crackheads are weird, yeah. Drugs are a hell of a thing, ain't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. So, uh, and then I, I, as you can see, I push my little red out to, to kind of make some room here. And um, I'm, now I get to push it back up here. And uh, that's getting kind of closer and closer as we go. So that's it for now. Um, peace. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman Brandon, the boy. And uh, I don't know, enjoy your Sunday or something like that. I know Uncle Tony's doing like his live thing and then um, a couple other uh, uh, new guy garage or something like that is doing some other like live thing tonight too. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna, last night I kind of talked my face off and which was really fun. I uh, did a thing with Uncle Tony, we did like two hours. And uh, I'm glad everybody liked it, but uh, my voice is kind of hoarse now, and, and I kind of imagine that I don't want to talk anymore. So, peace.